All right, Shalom. First and foremost, we like to give all praise and glory to to Yahweh, Ba'ashem, Yahweh Shai, Ba'ashem, Rakakadash. Double honors to the elders, Apostle Gray Millstone, Christian's Word, truthfully and sincerely. Shalom to the Akim that scattered through the four corners of the globe, Christian's Word, truthfully and sincerely. And Shalom to the Akim that scattered through the four corners of the globe, that be like unto the speckled bird, Christian's Word, truthfully and sincerely. We say Shalom to y'all. So the title of this lesson is going to be, you know, we're going to rebuke the two thirds of Israel. And this is the book of Amos, chapter 5, verse 10. They hate him that rebuke it in the gate and abhor them that speak up rightly, right? You know, two thirds of Israel, which is the so-called Negroes, Latinos and Native Americans, you know, you know, we try to bring truth to them, you know, we try to rebuke them, you know, they get offended and then, you know, they mock the man of the Lord, you know, we're trying to, you know, trying to uh, teach them wisdom, knowledge and understanding, you know, or rebuke them for what any wrongs that they, you know, doing out here in, you know, in this modern day Babylon, the Greek, which is called North America, you know. So, yeah, man. Yeah, they hate us. They hate us for this truth, too, man. You know, hey, the Most High told us to warn the people. All right, which is our people. Appreciate it. Our people about the things that that that's coming, man. You know, warning our people, man, telling them to, to repent, to come back, man. It ain't just someone screaming out there, repent, repent, repent. No, we're saying this out of love, man. You know, we're saying this because we understand what's gonna come, man. We understand that Yahweh, which is the name of the Heavenly Father, and the name of the Son, which is Yahweh Shai. Is gonna come and bring destruction towards those wicked people, man. That's why, and that's showing love, man. Telling our people, hey, repent, man, because sh shit is about to hit the fan, man. And you don't want to be caught up in that fan, all right? Babakus. This is the Leviticus chapter 19, verse 17, and it reads, Thou shalt not hate thy brother in thy own heart. You know, thou shalt any, uh, in any, any wise, why, in any wise rebuke thy neighbor. And not suffer sin upon him That's right, yeah And that's showing hatred If you do not warn your brothers and sisters About the things that's coming, man You know, because if you don't want that Look, the Most High gave us the understanding That if we go off and don't follow Yahweh about Shem Shai To the best of our ability That we're going to be destroyed, man A painful death So if we understand that's going to happen to us We're going to warn our brothers and sisters To be in the same way that we're walking in So, we, so they don't also get destroyed and get messed up, man. You know, that's the true love. That 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 that's rebuking thy neighbor with, with love, alright? The truth isn't always lovely and all of that, man. Like the scriptures say they prophet prophesy unto his deceits, man. You know, Babakusha, can you get that one? You know, prophesy unto his deceits. Prophesy unto his deceit. Speak unto his smooth things. Because that's what our people want. Our people want to hear things that sound good to the ear. Lovely, you know. God loves everybody. Uh, come as you are. All these things, man, that's false, but it sounds good to the ear. That's what our people like to hear. But that's not the truth. All right? Because the truth, a lot of times, is more stranger than fiction. Okay? And that's real. You know? That's very real. What about Kushan? This is the book of Isaiah, chapter 30, and verse 10. And it reads, What saith to the seers? See not to the prophets prophesy not us right things and speak to us smooth things and things prophesied deceit right because you know uh jake he love to hear smooth things you know and you know you hearing that from your uh pastors and everything always saying about love everybody right you know and, and the scripture says totally say something differently you know like the scripture says you know uh this word is for the children of israel it's not for no other nation you know, uh, Jake, he loved to hear those smooth things, you know, the prophesied smooth things about that love doctrine, you know. It's John, not, John 3.16. Yeah, in the John 3.16, talking about love, everybody, you know, it's talking about the Israelites rebuking the Israelites, which is the Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, you know. That's right. And that time, you know, we, the man of the Lord coming in with that rebuke, man, yeah, coming with that, that true rebuke, that true doctrine of Yahweh, Yahweh Shai, you know, to rebuke his people to rebuke the Negroes, Latinos, and the Native Americans and the speckled birds as well, too. That's right. You know, because you're going to need this rebuke in the times that we are coming in because, you know, it's going to be some crazy times out here. So it's better to rebuke your brother, you know, while they still have a chance to be able to hear these law statutes and commandments of the Heavenly Father and the Son, Yahweh Shai. 
Khan. Can you get that Isaiah lift up that voice like a trumpet? Because that's what the Most High told us to do. The Most High told us to lift up our voices like a trumpet and show our people the transgressions, all right? Where they're going off and what happens if they go off. Babakus. This is the book of Isaiah, chapter 58, verse 1. Cry aloud, spare not, lift up thy voice like a trumpet, and shew my people their transgressions, and the house of Jacob their sins. And that's what we're supposed to do, man. Show show people, show the Israelites, man, that they're going off, that the things that they're doing that they think is normal and is normalized and justified by Esau in this society is not justified by the Lord, our power, man, that's about to destroy and, and send uh, his wrath upon this world, man. So therefore, we must get in line with the, the Heavenly Father and His Son so that when He does come back, which is very, very soon, we're not destroyed with these other people. And like we were saying earlier, that's showing true love, man, because we don't want to be destroyed, man. We don't want to be uh, utterly put to death before we even put to death to suffer so bad, man. You know? You got one? And uh, the, the book Ezekiel. Oh yeah, but, yep, get this one. Salaki, so, let me get that real quick. Ezekiel so, three and eighteen. Yeah, because we, we. Oh yeah, you got that. Yeah, because we're supposed to warn the wicked, man. We're supposed to warn, and and if we do not warn them, okay, because we have been given this truth, and if therefore we have that responsibility, Babaka shall read that. And this is the book of Ezekiel, chapter 3, verse 18. What's when I say unto you? To the wicked. Unto the wicked, Salakia. Thou shalt surely die, and thou givest him not warning, nor speak to the warn the wicked from this wicked way to save his life. The same wicked man shall die in his iniquity, but this blood will I require at the hand. That's right. Yeah, and that, that's going to be required in our hand. Why? Because we understood, we understood it. The Most High gave us that knowledge, man. And so if the Most High gave us that and chose us, then, then we must therefore have that responsibility and take care of our responsibility and, and tell these people that do not know that. Okay? And this is the book of Ezekiel, chapter 3, verse 19. Yet if thou warn the wicked and turn not from his wicked wickedness, nor from his wicked way he shall die in his iniquity but thou hast delivered thy soul yeah that's right so hey as long as these people hear it hey bro we we did our job you see because if the people if the wicked which is our people okay if if, if, if they don't want to take heed hey we did our part man you know we warned them so hey the, the blood is going to be delivered from our hands because we already told them all right, and they're gonna die in their own blood, man. It's gonna be their own fault. You know? You got, you got something else? No, that'd be you know, hey, you know, you know, we just gonna go in, you know, and and, and uh, low willingness lesson was edifying. We're gonna give all praise, honor, and glory unto Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shai by Hashem, Rakakadash. Double honors unto the elders and apostles of Great Millstone who do well. And salutations to the Akim across the globe, pushing his word with truth and with sincerity. Shalom and the Baba Ball. Shalom and the Baba Ball.